Welcome to another episode of Data Analysis, Introduction to Data Analysis. Uh, today we are going to look at choosing a correct statistical test or analysis method for your research question. So first of all we have to look at uh, the levels of analysis. We have what we call univariate analysis. A univariate analysis simply means one variable. Uni means one. So in other words, uh, you, it doesn't deal with any relationships like in regression. So you are only summarizing one variable. So you are trying to summarize and find patterns within data for that one variable. Normally we use this when we are describing uh, our, our data. Uh, like for example, if it is a, a medical research, we can summarize our participants. So what is involved in uh, summarizing data in univariate analysis? So first of all, we have uh, types of uh, data if you don't know the types of data you can go back to our first episode of introduction to data analysis we summarized all of the all of this the types of data so if you have continuous variable which is numerical data for example weight height age you can summarize it by how by the central tendency how this data is distributed uh, by the center for example the mean uh, mean you are trying to to, to get uh, the average of this uh, variable for example age if we have age of uh, students in a class we can try to get their mean age it gives uh, uh, a brief overview on uh, the number I mean on the on the kind of uh, students that you have, uh, the age of the students that you have. So we, we normally, or we always uh, get the mean by uh, adding up the observations over the total number. For example, if we have from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, and 5, to get the mean or an average, you get the total over n. Median is that number which is in the middle. So you first sort by ascending order. You arrange them by ascending order. And you try to determine which number is in the middle. So by canceling out one from the left and one from the right. So you remain with four and five as in to be in the middle. So you get their average. So 4.5 is the median for this data. Mod is the number that is repeated the most. In this case it is a 5. So that's how we can uh, summarize by middle or central tendency. So we can summarize also by spread to know how our data is spread. So one of the measures of spread we have a range which is the difference between the largest and the smallest value. The range for our data is 6 minus 1, 6 being the largest, 1 is the smallest, so the range is 5. So we have a standard deviation as another measure of spread. This is an index of variability. So it shows how the mean deviates from a normal distribution. And normally, it is the square root of variance. So how do we calculate the standard deviation? If we have observations from 1 to 6, their mean is 3.5 per year. We got the mean by adding up this, divided by the total number of the observation, which is 3.5. So we get the deviations from the mean for each number, for each observation. So 1 minus 3.5, which is the mean, 2.5 then we get 2 minus 2.5 which is negative 1.5 negative 0.5 and so on 
So we get the deviation squared and we sum up that deviation. As we can see in our formula, we are summing up the deviation squared. So by squaring every deviation and we sum up, we get uh, the total number of the summed deviations. So variance is the total deviations squared over the total number of observations, which is uh, it's the total squared deviations, not total deviations, total squared deviations over total observation, which is a uh, 17.5 over 6, which is 2.5. While standard deviation is the square root of variance, which is the square root of 2.5, giving us 1.75. So the standard deviation of our data of one of observations one to six is one point seven one. But uh, we get standard deviation if uh, our data is normally distributed. So and this is the if you want to look at the normal distribution curve, this is the normal distribution curve. So down here on the x-axis we have the the deviations mu is the mean this symbol here is called the mean i mean mu and this is sigma which means the variance i mean which means the standard deviation so at the center we have the mean and when you Moving away from the mean, you are deviating away from the mean. Towards the negative or towards the positive. If you have students uh, and they are scoring, you have given a test and they score marks, they will score from zero, they might score from zero up to 100. So each student might be represented somewhere, but the largest number of students will fall somewhere which is the mean or the average so mean so as you go uh, towards the positive there are those students which are bright uh, towards the 100 percent mark so there are those ones that deviate from the mean from the average students and those are the the clever students so the deviation of 68%, that is the one standard deviation, that is uh, between, within 68% of the data, is mean plus one standard deviation. If you get 95% of students who either uh, are below the mean or above the mean, uh, we get the positive two or negative two standard deviations, and we call it two standard deviation. And 99%, 99.7% of the data is within the three standard deviations. So that's that's the importance of the standard deviation. So if you given the mean and the standard deviation, you might know how many students are expected to be below the mean mark, or how many students are expected to be above average. So we have, uh, we can also summarize categorical data. Uh, the, that was summarizing continuous data or numbers using the mean, mode, median, range, and standard deviation. So for categorical, for example, sex, male or female, education levels, we can use frequencies. Uh, e.g. 10 boys and 15 girls, all proportions in brackets which we can call also percentages we can have 30 percent boys and 70 percent girls in the class so that's how we can summarize categorical data so we can go ahead and visualize it using uh, graphical means like a pie chart a table uh, uh, a bar graph so that's also other methods of visualizing and summarizing categorical variables so we have a uh, the second level of analysis we have uh, bivariate analysis. This simply means uh, analysis of exactly two variables. It can be one in one dependent variable versus one independent variable. 
all one variable versus another it can be a, co a continuous variable versus a continuous variable or a continuous variable versus a categorical variable or two categorical variables so in uh, by variate analysis we can get what we call a crude association between uh, an outcome and uh, all and then one independent variable for example you can have a crude association between smoking and lung cancer so we can have lung cancer on one side and smoking and we see so we shall look at which statistical test we can use to get uh, an association between uh, this variable and an, an outcome of cancer uh, if it is both binary, we can do what we can use an association of odds ratios uh, as a measure of association, and the statistical test can be chi square, as we can we shall see. Uh, in multivariate analysis, that's another level of analysis, we have an outcome versus many factors. Usually we use statistical modeling like regression analysis for this type of analysis. So for example, we can have a cancer uh, as an outcome versus can have cancer as an outcome versus the many variables. For example, smoking, education, status, sex or age. So here we shall we can't use one statistical test. So we go with uh, modeling, like regression analysis. So this is a summary of the table, which we can give you which statistical test to use versus uh, the input all independent variable and the outcome variable. Uh, I have filled uh, some of the most important ones as you will be having uh, such questions. For example, we can have binary versus binary and we use a chi-square test. We can have a binary outcome versus two categorical uh, independent variable. Still, we can use a chi-square test. We can have a binary outcome. Binary means two versus ordinal so if you missed this uh, type of uh, i mean these types of data you go to our first episode you know what uh, uh, ordinal means discrete uh, nominal uh, or categorical so ordinal it means that's an ordinary category like education level there is an order like primary secondary tertiary socioeconomic status like low middle income or high income so we can if we have a binary outcome and a discrete input variable or independent variable we can use a logistic regression we can also use a logistic regression for nominal and the rest so here also logistic regression applies but uh, if it may, it depends on which measure of association that you want to look at. If you want to look at only p values, you can use the chi square or Fisher's exact test. If you want to look at the odds ratios, you can go ahead and use a logistic equation. So if you have categorical variables of more than two categories versus a binary input, you can still use a chi square test. You can still use a chi square test here. You can still use a chi-square test, the chi-square test, and uh, other methods of uh, uh, category. I mean, uh, there are other methods of uh, analysis which are advanced, which I didn't feel here. So we have the ordinal outcome versus a binary input. We can use a chi-square test of Mann-Witten. So ordinal, that is uh, the ordered variables. It will depend if it is uh, from a sample which is normally distributed versus a sample which is uh, not normally distributed. So we can use also the Spearman rank or close calories for categorical for ordinal versus ordinal. That is a Spearman rank. 
So we can also have discrete versus binary, we can use Man Whitney. So there is also nominal here versus uh, binary. You can use a student t test, they are t test, the one sample t test, a two sample t test. Uh, we shall look at all those t tests uh, in uh, our next videos. We have nominal versus two categories. We can use analysis of variance, which is called ANOVA. We have the one way ANOVA, two way ANOVA. We shall look at all that in the, in the coming videos. We have Spearman rank, linear regression. If you have nominal versus an ordinal, we can use linear regression. So you can see here that linear regression applies on so many, on so many of the input outcome versus the nominal. I mean, input variables versus the nominal outcome. So. Please uh, hit that subscription button and uh, also like our video, help our channel grow. You can share this video to your colleagues or friends. Uh, we have, uh, now let's look at the summary. We have a univariate analysis, we said summarizing one variable by uh, either spread or by uh, uh, central tendency. And uh, we, by central tendency, we mean by those which are in the center, and we have mean, mode, median. Then by spread, how our data is spread from the smallest to the largest, we can use a range, or how our data deviates from the mean, we can use a standard deviation. We have bivariate analysis, which means two variables. So if a uh, bivariate analysis normally applies if uh, it depends normally on the outcome versus uh, the independent variable and the study design maybe. So if you have one continuous outcome versus, uh, versus another outcome, you can use a linear regression. You can use, a, if you have a binary outcome, meaning the levels are two. For example, if you are looking at cancer, which is yes or no, either you have cancer or you don't have cancer, versus uh, the exposures like taking, uh, I mean, smoking, drinking alcohol, you can use a logistic regression. If you have a count outcome, for example, number of episodes of diarrhea, number of episodes of uh, maybe. Uh, uh, so if that count data which uh, doesn't have the small places which are uh, uh, like for example an episodic so you can use a poison regression or negative binomial regression so we have a time to event analysis which is uh, like, uh, also called survival analysis here you can use what we call a cox regression analysis uh, we looked at also multivariate analysis, that means uh, one outcome versus a number of variables, more than two variables. So the, the statistical test, remember, always remember it will depend on the outcome and independent variable. And this independent variable, it will, determine, it will be determined by the type, either continuous or nominal or ordinal and the levels levels mean if it is binary those are two levels if it is three levels uh, those are more than two levels category it can be four levels so those are the levels and the study design the study design can be a cross-sectional study a cohort longitudinal data that will determine the statistical test or analysis method to use uh, please leave uh, comments below, subscribe to our channel, like the video, and uh, leave a comment for any other videos or clarification that you want us to make. Thank you very much.